um, and it comes from the firm Lloyd Platt and Company. Vanessa Lloyd Platt joins me. And it's a poll about grandparents and the sheer number of grandparents in this country that do not have access to their grandchildren. Vanessa, what are the numbers involved here? Two million that we know about. And why we're trying to turn it on its head and why we needed to do the survey to prove what we already knew mm -hmm. was why is this happening and why we're turning it on its head is we're saying it should be the right of every grandchild in this country to have grandparents involved in their lives. We know that the grandparents bring security, psychological help, financial help. And what this survey revealed was that hundreds of thousands who had seen their grandchildren mm -hmm. had a close relationship with them suddenly cut off. Why? Because of a row with a daughter-in-law or the partner of a son. And over 40% of the cases proved that was the case. So we, with GB News, who have been amazing, we want that there should be a reconciliation between these people. And we're appealing to daughter-in-laws everywhere and partners of sons, pick up the phone to the grandparents, become reconciled. Doesn't matter who did what, just phone and resolve. But family bust-ups are pretty common, aren't they? But now, even more so, with the divorce rates going through the roof, children, grandchildren, need the grandparents to bring them that security. They're in turmoil. We know that children are suffering psychological problems. It's in everyday papers. Your news programme talks about children suffering all the time. And what was the enduring image during COVID? The grandchildren up against the windows, the glass windows yeah. looking at yeah, the grandparents yeah, yeah. and vice versa. Yeah. So this isn't just about grandparents' rights, it's about grandchildren's rights. And the European, uh, the UN Convention on the Rights of a Child recommends that it should be the right of every child. So we signed up to the convention, why aren't we doing it? There must be cases where there are grandparents who are forbidden. Yes from seeing grandchildren, where the grandparents uh, could be disruptive, unruly, potentially violent, drunk, uh, setting a very bad example. There must be cases where it's justified. There are, but they are very rare. As a divorce lawyer, I can tell you that in my 40-something years of practice, I've only seen one such case. So it's very rare. Mm -hmm. What our report also revealed is that our esteemed police force in 150,000 cases were going up to grandparents and threatening them if they mm -hmm. sent presents or cards to their grandchildren. Well, the police have got nothing better to do. I mean, you must understand. Well, of course. Yeah, yeah. But that, that it is, is a travesty. You call for reconciliation, and I hear you very clearly, but you're also suggesting that maybe legislation's the answer. Well, we drafted the Children's Act, or redrafted yeah. it. We put it before Parliament. We lobbied Parliament, and they were going to do something about it. Why we're doing it is to change the Children's Act so that the need for grandparents to apply for leave first and then get over that hurdle and apply to see their grandchildren should be wiped out. We're the only country virtually in the whole world that imposed that. I spoke with many, many lawyers and judges in America and all over the world, they can do it on a first appointment and weed out those uh, cases that you are talking about. Okay. So why are we doing yeah. this? And are well, you going to help us with this campaign? I